All right. Uh, Zach R19, R uh, underscore 19. Who out of those that attended Dev Camp are closest to making the main roster? Well, Zach, uh, we just talked about Mason Lowry. I think he's definitely one of them. You know, Fabian Lysel is probably going to see some time in Boston this year. Um, I was not particularly wowed by what I saw during development camp. Uh, he came in um, very slowly after he had a concussion at the end of last year that kind of knocked him out of the AHL season. You know, we go back to the world juniors. He really struggled there for team Sweden, didn't have a great experience. And, you know, I think there was a lot of adversity for Fabian Lysel last year uh, as a young player, as a 19 year old in the AHL. And, you know, he didn't really light the world on fire after there was a lot of hype and excitement about him uh, coming out of the Vancouver giants. And I think that continued at development camp. He was not a dominant player, uh, didn't score a ton or create a ton of offense when, uh, you know, they were doing the, uh, the last day they were doing the three on three uh, small area scrimmages. They do like a tournament uh, three on three small area games. And then they do a big full ice uh, for maybe the last 20, 25 minutes of, of the last session uh, scrimmaging on full ice. And he didn't really factor in offensively in any of those situations. The CLNS media network is powered by FanDuel. Sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston and get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Um, you know, didn't look dominant, didn't really show off the speed and skill that you would hope to see, especially against guys that are younger than him uh, and and his peers. And not even we're not even talking about grizzled NHL veterans here. We're talking about his peers and, and people even younger than him and guys that were not first round picks. Uh, and the fact that he didn't really dominate and dance around these guys and really, you know, didn't flash on the ice when he was out there. That's a concern for me. Uh, you know, was it that he uh, was coming back from the injury? maybe didn't feel great this week, hadn't skated a lot and was kind of behind the eight ball because of that. Um, was it because he wasn't that motivated for a development camp when at 20 years old, having logged an entire season, in the NHL last year, he didn't feel like he had anything to prove and kind of the motivation level wasn't as high for him as it was for other players out there. I, I really don't know. It's hard to answer that question, but all I can tell you is that this is a huge season for him at 20 years old after having some lackluster experiences and maybe losing some of the shine on him as a prospect last year. Um, and I think this is going to be a massive season for him to recoup some of that, to really become a do the dominant offensive player they think he can be based on his skating speed, based on his skill, based on what we've seen uh, when he makes plays, uh, you know, whether it was the Vancouver giants or in Sweden, or in, in, you even had flashes last year in Providence, but um, it wasn't enough. And I think he needs to show this season coming up that there's a lot more there. And if he does that, I think he is going to get some looks at the NHL level, full circle answering the question. Mason Lowry is definitely the closest to the NHL. I think Fabian Lysel will be fairly close to the NHL because I think he's going to get some chances this year. The CLNS Media Network is powered by FanDuel. Sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston and get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed.